So I'm on the Celestron website here. I have Micro Capture Pro software version 2.3.2, last update in 2013. Nice. Live help is offline. Leave a message. Chat by live person. There is no newer software on this website, I have to, see, to say. So 2.3.2 version on Mac. Here, 2.3.2. Oh. Latest version. And then let's have some fun with this. Um, I have here a live picture. Let me see if I have an interesting spot. Here, and here like a chip or whatever. Like this kind of thing, right? Um, if I want to calibrate my magnification, I can do this with a little ruler that comes with it here. So this is basically going over the picture. Oh, oh here. There, right? And then you take a picture of this first. And here on the right, you have all your pictures. Double click on it. And then you go here to calibration. Okay, and then you measure from, let's say, here to here. Here to here. And we know this is 5 millimeters. Yeah, so it's a little less. 4.9. Okay, so we know 5 millimeters. You type in 5 and say OK. And that makes our magnification to 49.320. You could do this manually too. but uh, So 49.320 is our magnification. And it puts it in here, right? So now if we take a picture again, you know, pick, take this picture, then we can double click, and then we could measure, for example, this resistor here. You go in here, and you can do an angle line, continuous line, a radius, circle, line properties. Text properties, units, choose your font, solid line, so this is a little bigger. And since we have uh, a lot of red in the picture, we're going to go with the green line here, this one. Okay, so. Now if I drag a line from here to here, let's say from here to here, from here to here, are we crashing? I noticed that this program likes to crash. Oh no, there it is. Ha! We could do undo button here. Undo. Look how fast this program is. Undo. There's another one down here. This I can't undo. Nice. So it just messes up my thing. Um, this is too small to see, so I want to change the font. Line properties. Choose font. Let's do 36. Doesn't do any here, right? Dot line. So we notice that this is different from the menu I had before, right? Do we notice that? 
here to here. Again, we see the speed here. Wow. There we have a dotted line. But we have no measurement. See that? The font went away here too. There was a font before. Now it's not there anymore. So overall, this program pretty much sucks. Way too slow. Doesn't move much. So if we look at my computer here. What we have? We have ten, eleven, one on an dual eight uh, quad core. So an eight core. And uh, yeah, so this computer should be fast enough. Just saying. It, um, I can show another thing here quick. So we save this here to the desktop. So when I open this picture in here, in a Mac preview, then I can zoom in and out fast. I can go here and have similar tools. Doesn't this thing have tools too? You show markup toolbar, right? So and then when you whatever here use lines see this works fast and easy. So um, it's not my recording about this software is really super slow and not working really great. Even though the tools are cool at the moment, but I don't know if I can recommend this software. It's just sad. I mean, this would be cool if this would work right, but for now it's not.